Hello friends and greetings from Iceland again. The live camera from the morning newspaper captured the moment when the eruption started this evening at 8.23. Here you see it. The mountain behind is Fagradalsvjak and there to the right you see the crater of Gelengadalur which erupted back in 2021. Here to the right where the pointer is pointing. So it's not that far from the 2021 eruption site. And we are observing from Thorbjörn Volcano, which is uh, north of Grindavik. Currently the fish is 2.5 kilometers long. It's pretty big, but not as big as back in December when it was 4 kilometers, 4 kilometers long. But of course it might extend and the new fishes might open up. Uh, but most likely, considering the size of the eruption, it will last uh, short as it was before one, two days perhaps. But it can cause significant damage and we already know that lava is moving towards Grindavik Road, towards Lagoon, which is luckily had been fenced by a, a big wall which had been and even enlarged. If you made a few meters high you will see it uh, in my drone video. So lava is moving to the west towards the Grindavik Road which towards the lava bridge of the same area, uh, lava road, and it's also moving south towards Grindavik, in both directions, towards the lava road and the lagoon and to the south. We, Grindavik is also protected by lava wall. And here you see the map with the actual extent of the fissure published by Icelandic Met Office uh, just an hour ago or so and it shows where the fish extends. So the eruption started somewhat west from the latest lava field, somewhere here was the middle of the fish uh, and then the fish extended more south and more north and lava is moving towards those protection walls north of Grindavik L12, L13, L7. They had been fixed and uh, they are rather big, also the walls around Blue Lagoon had been built up even higher so it's unlikely lava will make through, the lava, through those walls so I think um, Blue Lagoon and geothermal power plant are rather safe but it's very likely that lava might run over the road again but then we will make a new uh, lava road <laughs> as they made before uh, of course uh, pipes it can also be flooded by the lava, but as far as I know, they covered them with the ground. Hot water pipes had been uh, covered with the soil, so they are protected if lava runs through them. It might cause damage, of course, through the extensive heat, but we will see. Five minutes ago, the morning newspaper reported that the lava is flowing toward the Grindavik Road towards the same lagoon road which had been flooded by the lava area to the same area where we have the lava road which I had filmed so many times lava is moving there, it's very likely that it will reach the road pretty soon as it's immense amounts of lava that are coming from the volcano and two lava tanks have formed from the fissures that opened this evening and lava is now flowing rapidly towards Grindavik road at Svartsanke and towards the defense walls east of Grindavik. So it's going south and the west. Uh, it's not unlikely that the rampart uh, or the wall will lead uh, the lava over Suzur Strander Vagor. So lava uh, might go towards the south coast uh, road next to the ocean to the south. This is what uh, with the Renaissance Senior Police Officer at Public Safety Department of the National Police says in an interview. Safe for now, the embankment that will soon receive the lava flow has reached its full height and it is likely that it will lead the lava south uh, towards Suzur Strandar Vagor Road uh, which connects Grindavik and Thorlakshad. That's where I live. Uh, if the lava flow continues for some time, the lava could flow over South Coast Highway. We'll go on the map, I'll show you. 
Uh, Wieser says that houses in Grindavik are considered safe at the moment because of the fortification. And here is his map. It shows the size of the fissure, which is somewhat uh, west of uh, the light, latest lava field, as you see. And lava is going down and also to the west towards this route, which is called Grindavik route. And the middle blue lagoon is here. Blue Lagoon and geothermal power plant protected by the wall. So, the eruption took place in safe location, in predicted location where everybody expected it, and they were preparing for this for weeks now, and fortifying the walls. They knew that it might take place there, so it's a kind of a good scenario, not the worst which could happen. And now we are watching live as lava is moving uh, south see towards Grindavik I believe those mountains here are Fagradalsfjall it's a quite significant amount of magma that broke 2.5 kilometers long fascia unbelievable but at first it started from a small fissure, which was a few hundred meters big, but now it's uh, extended, as you know. So this is a live cam right now at 10 o'clock 53 minutes in the evening. And as you see, lava is moving uh, south. Maybe the trail ale that we are hiking to the volcano might be destroyed by the lava because it's spilling in that direction. And there we have South Coast uh, route also. And also lava is moving, I know, to the west there behind. It's not visible here, uh, further north to the west. Okay, you see here Grindavik and how close it is already from the, from the town. but. There are big walls constructed. I think it's already reaching the wall here. This is the wall. It's already at the wall of the town. You see? So it's advancing pretty quick, pretty fast. Uh, they are lighting it up a little bit. Yeah. This is a map of uh, road authorities from Iceland, Vegagerdin, and as you see, red uh, roads mean closures. All the roads towards Grindavik had been closed. You can drive there. You can see the option. I can't do it. I'm not a journalist. I'm not a scientist. They won't let me through. So it's really no point to go there unless you can, unless you wish to film it from a distance, only from the Kaplavik highway here and the road authorities here are saying that the eruption started next to Grindavik and the travelers are asked not to park along the airport highway which is this road 41 many people are parking cars here to see the eruption and I see here that the closure from the east to the south is at Fagradusfjat perhaps I will check it tomorrow morning when it gets brighter, I think I will drive there and perhaps I can uh, hike the long ridge and see it from the long ridge, maybe launch strong from there, but for now you can't access the area, I can't, so it's a pity. Lava have already made it to this wall, which is north of Grindavik. This is old footage of mine from some weeks ago. And uh, so this wall had been constructed north of Grindavik and extended further to the northeast. 
so now it looks bigger than this but uh, lava arrived at this wall already and his uh, walls are re redirecting the lava flow but this eruption seems to be more powerful than all previous eruptions on the Reykjanes Peninsula in the last three years I read this just now in the news it was said by a geophysicist Magnus Tumi Goodmanson in, in an interview uh, to the morning newspaper he flew with a coast guard over the eruption uh, side and landed at uh, Reykjavik airport shortly after and this is what he says that this is a super powerful eruption the fissure is now 3.5 kilometers long so it extended even further um, so and he also confirms that lava is moving towards Grindavik road and at the same time south towards uh, Grindavik and more flow is to the south uh, that is about 200 meters from the defenses when he had been flying now it's already at the walls at the at the defense walls north of Grindavik this is this is lava from January when it reaches the town of Grindavik when we had the fish north of Grindavik uh, the eruption is roughly in the same place uh, as it was back in February on the 8th of February but it's about 3.5 kilometers long fish unbelievable so situation is changing eruption for now it is the most powerful eruption of all that we have seen so far and this is kind of bad news um, the morning news also reported that the town of Grindavik and Blue Lagoon had been evacuated successfully and that's good to hear I will keep you informed what is going on uh, be well and greetings from Iceland